Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own right back solution in Click. Hello and welcome everyone. So in today's video, I will talk about right back. Okay. And this video will be divided in two parts. In the first part, I will show you how to create your own right back solution in Click just using variables and QVDs. Okay. So you don't need automation. You don't need anything else. Just click objects. And in the second part of this, of this video, I will show you how professional extensions work. Okay. So I work for Infinity and one of their products is a right back extension that works really well and it's really easy to use. So I'm going to show you how this works. And one year ago, more or less, I shared this LinkedIn post here. Uh, this was when I developed this uh, kind of right back solution and app. Basically what I'm doing is uh, restricting the data and using variables to rewrite everything in QVDs. Okay, so we're gonna follow step by step here the process so that you can replicate the same thing. But basically in this app, I'm managing territories. So I was working with territory management. Uh, I have here, let's say that this is in Portuguese. Okay, uh, but I have here in the channel another video about this in English. Uh, if I if I select, for example, corn, and this is the planted area of corn, I can define a potential per hectare. And going to the next page, I can define here the areas that have a different potential per hectare. So we'll be creating the potential from bottom up. I can define which regions have a different potential. I can also assign the cities and the areas here for each one of these sales reps. And everything is automatically stored in QVDs, but if I want to store in CSVs, I also have this tab here to do that. All right, so let's jump to the first part of this video. I will use a very simple table here in this example. So we have a table with country, amount, responsible and growth. Okay, here I only have my name, so it's all the same because we are going to modify this and we're going to define, let's say that in Brazil, I want to have another record here, another person or in Japan, and we're going to define this kind of things. Our first step is to load this table and store it in two different QVDs. Okay. So let me start here by creating the connection with my folder. Now let's bring this table here to click. Give it a name. I will call this table just like that. Okay. And store that into two different folders. Okay. So the first one will be our original file and we'll be saving this as QVD. So I will call this data.qvd. Okay. And same thing, but now instead of original, I will call this consumption. All right. So let's click here to load data. And now I have two folders, one with the original file and then, and the other one will be modifying. I can comment these two stores here now. Okay. Let's create some visuals here in our sheet. So I'll create for us a table. And I will also add a map here. And in this map, I'll use the responsible column to color the countries. Okay. So color by dimension and just change it to responsible. I will also change the theme of this uh, app. Okay. So just changing this to sense classic. Now going back here to our script, our second step is to create two variables, one to input new values and the second one to list the dimensions that we're going to change. Okay. So let's go back here, create the first variable. I will call this v input. Okay. And click here to create. And the second one will be v country because we'll use the countries to modify our records. Now let's go to custom objects, click dashboard bundle and bring a variable input. We'll assign this object to the v input variable. And now to better visualize this, I will add here a text object on the bottom. And here in the measure, I will use the v input variable like this. 
but I will use single quotes so that Click will interpret this as a text, okay? Now, every time I change something here on this variable, like A, B, C, D, I will be able to see what I entered here, okay? Or the value of the variable. So let me just change this and include here vid input so that we can see the output of this variable. And I will do the same thing with the v country variable. To modify this v country variable, I will use a button. So let's bring here a button and add an action. And this action will be the set variable value. We're going to change the v country variable using the concatenation of the country fields. Okay, so I'm going to put here concat distinct country using comma like this. So now if I select Brazil and Canada, for example, I can click here and the value of my variable will be Brazil and Canada concatenated by a comma. Be careful because if you don't have anything selected and click here, all countries will be listed in the variable. Let me just change this button here and make it smaller a little bit and change the title. And I will also add another action here to reload this app. Okay. So come here and reload data. All right. So every time I click here, I will be doing two things that will be set the countries and reload the app. Okay. Now let's go back to our data load editor. This step here is concluded. Now let's go to the third step. We will now create a temp table just using the values of those variables. Okay. So I'll do load. We'll insert here the value of the V country variable and I'll use single quotes here as well as temp country. And since we don't have a source for that, I will use auto generate. Now notice that if I go back here in the script, my V country variable is Albania and Andorra. But if I load this value, it's just a list of countries. Okay. So what we'll do is to use the subfield function to break this list according to the delimiter. So uh, let's include here the comma. And now we can load the date again. Go back here. I can remove these filters and we'll have a column called temp country with those variables values. Okay, so going back here to the dashboard. Now, if I select Australia and Argentina, for example, and click here to set countries. Now we can go back to the data model and see that the temp countries are now Argentina and Australia. Okay, now let's go back to the script. Our next step is to use the consumption data source. Okay, so let's click here and load our consumption data, consumption QVD. At this point, we don't need this Excel file anymore. Okay, so I can comment this part. And our data actually will come from here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the where exists clause to only load the countries where we have the values of these variables. Okay, so I will include here the where exists using the temp country fields that we have here from the other table. And this needs to match with my country field from this table. Okay. And here, instead of responsible, I will include my V input variable. So let's include here the V input as responsible, but using this as a text. And I'm going to do the same thing, but with the opposite logic. Okay. So copy and paste. Just remove this uh, variable from here because we're going to do now the original part, let's say. And instead of where exists, I will do where not exists. We could manually include a concatenate function here to concatenate these two tables. But since they have the same structure, Click will automatically concatenate these two. Okay. Now going back to the app, if I select Argentina and Australia again and set the countries, this button will reload the app. And now if I remove the filters, I have A, B, C, D for these two countries and the others have the same responsible that we had before. 
Now our next step is to make these changes permanent. Okay, so we need to go back here and store the result of this data in the QVD that was used. Okay, so copy this path and let's store the data, which is the name of this table, into the same file. Okay, so QVD, just like that. And the last step is to empty these variables. So we can do here, let the input equals to just two single quotes and let the country, same thing here, like this, and we can drop the temp table. Okay, now if we go back, I can change these values here or like select these countries and put here like Robert, click here to set countries, clear the filters. Now I have Guilherme and Robert. Now I will do here in North America with Paul. Clear. Now some countries in South America. Let's add here Josh. Notice that now we have different names here and this was all stored in our QVD, okay? So we are loading this QVD and changing, modifying the records and storing it back in the same QVD, okay? And the reason why I created another folder with the original file is because if we want to restore the, the original one, we can just come here in another section and use the original file like this. Call this original. And basically store this original in the same QVD, in the consumption folder, okay? So we would be restoring the file and we can include here some ifs, okay? So if some other variable like v reset is equals to one, then restore the file. Otherwise, just keep modifying the records. Great, so with this logic, you can modify your records just using QVDs and variables. And now let's go to the second part of the video. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I work for Infinity and one of our products is a write back extension. So this was designed to write back. We also have other products and I'm gonna show you the main functionalities, okay? Because there are many other things that we can do with this and this video would be too long. But if you need to know more about that, just contact me, message me on LinkedIn, okay? And I will be glad to show you more. So there is a demo portal you can type demo.myinfinity.com and request access here to navigate some apps that we have. And I'm going to start with the sales budgeting and planning. Let's say that you need to plan the products uh, or forecast some values in your company. Well, we can edit all these data from here, okay? Month by month or if like we can have a process where the director comes here and approve the values and people cannot add it anymore, okay? I can come here, filter one specific product, for example, steel bottle, and change all these values just using this functionality here, like 500, click here. Now I can save this data here. I can see who changed what and when. So it keeps all the history. We can add customized actions here as buttons, okay, so there's an action here to pre-fill the data. If I click here, and let's say that we want January to start with 800. So I can click here, put 800, define 10% as a growth coefficient, click here in pre-fill, and this will start an action to pre-fill these rows with 800 plus 10% plus 10% and so on, okay? And then we just click here to save, we can store these changes in different kinds of files. So QVDs, XMLs, SQL, and other types of databases. And we can click here to recalculate and reload the app. And I don't need a professional license to do that. Analyzers can do the same thing, okay? This is also available in the cloud. Now I'm gonna show you another app, but using SSE, which is the server-side extension. So in this case, I can change the data in this table. Okay, so I'm gonna change this 1 million to 5 million. Click save. And even without reloading the app, I can see the changes in real time. And also see who changed what and when. So if I click here and change these records 
with this switch button. I can click here and save and see the changes in this table on the bottom, okay? With this mark here. So just show you that we don't have to use a reload button to see the changes. And now in another app, we have here an HR app showing a recruitment process. So we have some candidates here. We can edit the values of these fields, okay? And even upload files. So notice that here we have the CV of these candidates uploaded here. I can click here to download these files, okay? I can hide or display certain fields like this. And there are multiple kinds of inputs. So we have drop down lists, uh, upload fields, switch buttons like this. We can visualize these records in another way. Click in here. Now let me show you how it works behind the scenes, okay? This is another app I just created here to show you this example. So I have a map of Brazil. These are the states and I can come here Filter the state, for example, and change the value of the color. Add some free text here, like note in Minas Gerais. Add some value, include a date. Enable or disable the addition of these suits and even upload some documents in here. So now if I click save, I will not recalculate the app right now. We have a QVD assigned to this form, okay? So now if I come here and click on this QVD, I will see the record that I just entered here on the bottom. So the key is Mida Gerais, which is the state I selected. The note I added, the color I selected, the checkbox is marked as one to edit the field and then we can manage this and click. And the sales value that I inserted. And then I can come back here, reload the app. And since I'm loading this QVD back here in the app, I can see all the changes here basically in real time. So just to show you another example, if I click here and add GGG and 10 here, when I click save, my QVD is now updated with these records. And on the bottom I have Goyas with GGG and the inputs that I inserted here in the table, okay? Notice that now if I change this record to ABC, for example, and click save, I will not replace the previous record. I will just add a new one here in the QVD. So I have the previous record here and now a new one with ABC using the same key. So with that, we can keep all the history and see who added what and when. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to watch the other videos that I have here in the click tips section. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe here in the channel, leave a comment and your like, and I appreciate that, okay? See you soon in the next videos.